Alright, hello my Dodo Pirates, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing on Gravedigger TV. Hello Estelle and Millie, and uh, hello AD Games. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I just did a 12-hour Stardew Valley Marathon last night, and man, you wouldn't think that streaming for 12 straight hours would be that exhausting. Oh my god, I feel like someone beat me with a stick. But it was fun. I had a great time. I enjoyed it. Um, and... Oh, yeah, yes, thank you. I appreciate the sub and the like. Um, it uh, helps the channel a lot. I'd love to hit... Uh, I'd love to hit 50 subs by the end of the month. That would be fantastic. I wasn't expecting to hit, hit 40. And uh, I made it in. So, uh, it's fantastic. I'm going to tell people every time they subscribe, uh, my bubby gets a treat. I need to get another webcam so I can set the bubby cam back up. And for my, uh, for my regular subs, now I know, Millie, you saw it last night. I have changed my uh, format. I used to have an overlay that blocked out the side and across the top with a uh, chat box. <laughs> with a chat box and my window and a banner across the top. And I'm using this new NVIDIA software, which actually does a f virtual green screen. So I don't have a green screen behind me. Behind me is my living room. And the AI of the program eliminates all that and leaves just me here. So it's very, very cool. And it actually works surprisingly well. This is technology that 20 years ago would have cost billions of dollars for, like, a production company to do. It's crazy. So uh, good times. Got to come in and check on my turnips. I think I'm probably going to take a bath on these turnips. I should have sold yesterday morning and didn't. Because I thought they'd go up a bit more. And then uh, they went down last night. Stardew Valley, I had a blast. I love that game. I, I just... I really enjoy it. And... Uh, to get other people to play it with me would be great. It's got a co-op mode. I don't know how that even works, but that would be cool as hell to be able to actually play. Because this, you can invite people to your island and you can visit their islands, but there really is no co-op. You can share stuff. But to actually have a co-op mode in a game where you, there actually is a little bit of dungeon crawling and combat would be sick. Oh, I would love that. We would just go in and destroy the mines. But, uh, yeah, I woke up. I streamed from 5 o'clock yesterday evening till 5 a.m. this morning. Crashed on the couch about 5.30. And then woke up about 9 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm running on Mountain Dew and an energy shot. <laughs> but I had, to, I had to do my morning stream. Because that's when I get my, uh, that's when I get my, uh, followers. That's when they usually expect me is in the morning. And I gotta check the turnip prices. Uh, so yeah, I, I pumped myself full energy shot in Mountain Dew, so I'm a little wired right now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, 10, 10 a.m. on, yes, this is the last day of snow. Thank God. God, I am so ready to see grass in this game. All I have seen is snow. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. The art gallery opened at the museum. I have a couple more pieces of art to give them. Paintings, sculptures, and more. I wonder if I'll need to get sculptures from Flick to put in there. All day, every day. Well, I've been literally IRL looking at snow out my window for months. <laughs> so, I'll be happy to see some grass. Oh, okay. Alright, Millie. We'll, we'll, we'll forgive your transgression then. <laughs> But there is fake artwork circulating out there. Indeed there is. But there are ways to spot the fakes. I know that there's a fake Mona Lisa. I think it's... Or no, it's the... Uh, 
Um, this is a Vitruvian man uh, of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. There's a fake of that one that actually has a coffee stain on it. It has like a ring from a coffee cup up on the one corner that you're supposed to look for to tell the fake of that one. And the Mona Lisa, I guess her eyebrows are like messed up on her fake. Man, I am so sore. I had to take some ibuprofen this morning. <laughs> oh, I feel the old in me. Oh, there's my new music. Oh, yeah, my map and a telescopy. I think I'm good. I'd like to get that satellite dish. Set up the telescope and the satellite dish to see if we can call down aliens. <laughs> Ah, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, I'm screwing up already. <sighs> Get over there, pumpkin. Oh, alright, let's check these turnip prices. I'll put them into the calculator. good news all right all right that's better news okay so now that we got that I gotta bring up the old turnip calculator and I'll show you what I do here it's 177 bells right now so we'll do this okay so there's our turnip calculator and this is what the prices were Monday Tuesday now Wednesday we got 177 this morning and now this graph will change and it's staying flat it doesn't it's not spiking anymore it's staying flat and by tomorrow morning it's going to start tanking so it's looking like my best bet is going to be to go ahead and gather up my turnips and sell today now if this spiked if this actually climbed up here like this tonight to tomorrow morning I would hold off until tonight and check and see but it's looking like it's not gonna go any higher and there's an algorithm they use to figure this out it's all math they actually there's a uh, uh, link down here where they'll explain it yeah right here if you I think that's the link I know there's a link here that explains how it works but uh, but it works basically so I am going to go ahead and uh, let me see let me minimize that switch back and I'm going to be gathering up turnips and selling those babies oh yes oh that's gonna be a nice little profit. I paid what a hundred and seven for mine. I think it said. Let me see. What did it say? What did I pay for them? Hundred and one. So I paid a hundred and one. They're gonna sell for let's say a hundred and seventy-seven. So that's a seventy, like a seventy-five percent profit. That's not bad. I mean, if people play in the actual stock market could make a seventy-five percent profit. On a $750,000 investment, they'd be pretty happy about that. Uh, let's see, what's the hot item today? Matryoshka. Yeah, no, I ain't using up, uh... I don't even know if I have that. Nope. 
Oh, there's the old barrel for sale. I have that. Ooh, what's this? I'll take it. Alright. So I'm gonna do my usual morning ritual here before I uh before I start gathering up my turnips. Which yeah, I got my uh got a good bit of pabbing down. I got this whole part of the island all pabbed out now. Got my pathing down in my carnival area. Got my pathing down to my residence down here. Is that, is that Cherry? Ah, oh, it's Cherry. She's my favorite. I love Cherry. I want that shirt. Oh, I can give her something today. All right, I gotta go get. I got her a black umbrella. Yeah, I'll probably be playing Stardew sometime after lunch. I gotta get my Animal Crossing in, because I know I'm gonna be having my Dodo Pirates are gonna be dropping in during the day. So, that's what they originally started watching me for, was the Animal Crossing. So I gotta do my Animal Crossing streaming. But yes, I will definitely be playing some Stardew. Oh, and were you there when I was freaking out because I couldn't figure out how to get clay? Clay is so hard to get in Stardew. I figured it out. And it was so easy. All I had to do was go down to the beach with my hoe and just start hoeing up the sand everywhere. It didn't matter if there were worms sticking up out of it or not. And clay just started popping up out of the ground. So, when all the tips say, oh, you have to hoe up worms or break geodes or all this and that, go down to the beach and just start hitting everywhere with your hoe, and uh, you'll start pulling up, uh, you'll start pulling up clay. Let's see, Ooh, looks like we got a couple more pink, uh, whatever these are, I always forget what those are. Six, nine, ten. Okay, so I don't got any new roses yet. Which, I have your five roses here. But, uh, I would like to wait until I have fifteen total. That way I can give you your five back and then I'll have ten here so they'll propagate quicker. Because I definitely want to give you your five black roses back since I took all of your black roses. They were just alone. I, I didn't want to keep all your black roses. <laughs> Are you sure? Because they're a lot easier to breed whenever you're breeding them off of black roses than when you're breeding them off of red ones. Let's see, none of these trees are sprouting bells. I was told that you can replant them. So, I'm a little concerned. Or can you only have one tree sprout bells a day? Because if that's the case, then that's why. Because I keep planting new bell trees. I might have to research that a little bit. I might be screwing myself. Uh, looks like my fruit tree is repropagated. Can't have no weeds on my island. Aha. See, I keep doing this. I keep replanting a... Uh, Replanting another bell tree, and that might be why my other ones aren't sprouting. Or it's because I'm moving them. Maybe I need to stop moving them. Good morning, Melinda. I feel like someone beat me with a stick. <laughs> oh, man. Next time I say I'm gonna do 
a streaming marathon. Remind me of this. I'll do it anyway. But then you can say, I told you so. I warned you. <laughs> no. Come on. There we go. I did rest. I'm good. I get all the sleep I need when I'm dead. You know who said that in what movie? Oh, money rock. And if I tell you this movie and you say you've never seen it, I don't know if we're going to be able to be friends anymore. Because if you've never seen Sam Elliott in Roadhouse, uh, we might have to have words. Because everybody knows Roadhouse. Oh, looks like the painting guy is back. Red. I'll have to find him and see what crap he's selling. Find out whether it's real or not. Yeah, all the chicks just love it. And you know the guy's look has not changed in 40 years. Like 30, 40 years, he looks the same. Exactly. You go look at Sam Elliott on uh, the movie Rocky with Cher. Looks exactly the same. I think it's I think it's called Rocky. Uh, Mask. The boy's name is Rocky. Rocky Dennis. But yeah, you look at him on that. Looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. The guy's ageless. And he's got that dirty, dirty biker look. I got the dirty biker look. I don't got chicks falling out all over me like that. You know what? I'm just gonna start shaking my trees down instead of replanting. Yeah, I know. I don't get it. I think some of it's also the voice. Up, oh, there's red. Let's go see what red's got. Oh, look at him, he just looks shady. Not like he does. Might be something to this. Red is your cousin, but actually he's not. <laughs> yeah. The cousin's discount. You in? All right, let's check it out. Let me see if I can spot your fake art. Uh, I could, I could be in outer space and get broadcast to the entire planet. <laughs> oh, it was. Like yesterday in Stardew Valley, there was an event where there was a dance, and you're supposed to go around and try and find someone to dance with you, and I got snubbed by literally every chick there. It felt just like junior high all over again. I was like, if, if I wanted my soul crushed like this, <laughs> I could just go to real life. I wouldn't have to play this game. I can just walk around town and be like, hey, baby, what's up? Hey, get away from me, loser. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be that bad. Oh, there's a present there, and I'm not going to be able to get it. By the time I climb down this stuff, it'll be gone. 
besides, I gotta get back to Red's boat. No, you know what? I'm not making more snow boys. Screw the snow, screw the snow boys, I'm done. You know what? Fight me! <laughs> Alright, let's check out Red's place here. Still seems kind of sketchy. Him just coming around on a boat with completely real art. I see a fake already. We only sell the finest. One piece of art per day. All the furniture you want, no questions asked. Alright, so this one right here, I can tell right away is a fake. This is the one I was telling you about. If you look right up in that upper right hand corner, you see the coffee stain? <laughs> it's fake. Here, we'll take a closer look at it. See the coffee stain? <laughs> Stuff like that you gotta look out for. Yeah, it's extremely detailed. It's fake. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, can I see this one? Or what? Uh, let's see. Um, this is one of those ones I might need some help with. Let's see. Museum art. Yes, I'm Googling just a little bit here. Let's see, which one was this? Ah, uh, yes, the Serene Painting. say the forgery stout is dark where the real one is light what is a stout <laughs> all right I'm having problems here because I don't have the Have the vocabulary. Okay. What is a stout? I'm confused. Let's see what I'm looking at here. Are identical. Just have to excuse you. I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. All 
right? Maybe I need some audience participation here. So let me bring in. All right. So it says how to spot a counterfeit. The forgery painting stoat is dark while the authentic is a light color. What is a stoat? I'm trying to find something dark in one and light in the other, and I can't see it. This one's supposed to be the real, and this one's supposed to be the fake, but I can't see where the difference is. Oh, maybe, okay. It's the critter she's holding. See how this one's real light and this one's dark. Okay. Forgery is dark. Okay, which yeah, this one looks like it's dark. So that one's that one's a forgery. Okay. I didn't know what a stoat was. If they would have said the otter or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Nope, not that one. That one's a fake. What do we got here? Formative statue. <sighs> Help the cousin out. Counterfeit is a blue where the authentic is black. So that one's fake. Jesus. Apologize for giggling, <laughs> but the counterfeit statue has a pearl necklace, <laughs> and I can't help but laugh at that. So that one's fake too. You're selling a bunch of fake crap, dude. Now the beach ball. <laughs> I'll take the beach ball because I, I I need a beach ball for my one beach scene. What's this? I can't even barely see it. Stove top espresso maker. I already got an espresso maker. You're a crook. I'm out of here. Come on. Really? You're not gonna let me leave? Really? <laughs> Is this like the uh, Hotel California? You can. You can check in any time you want, but you can never leave. Ah, uh, well, that was 
Big fat waste of time. I would love a black toilet. Dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of calitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. I've actually played that while driving through the desert. Right here, right here. But yeah, I've actually played that in the truck while driving through the California desert at night. <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Oh, look at uh, Phoebe over there just living her best life. while I'm out here. I believe they stack. I do gotta get a bunch of crap out of my inventory though. Oh shit, I'm full. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to drop off a bunch of crap in my uh, storage. Ah, uh, of course, there's a bottle here. All right, well, sand dollars, you're going to have to go. Make it something I don't have already. An homage to my favorite pop star. Okay, shell table. That's a new one. I don't think I have that one. I got the shell stool, but I didn't have the shell table. Alright, let's head back. I was just looking to see if Gullivar was here. Oh, there's another fossil up there. Let me check here. Do I have anything to do with fossils up here in Nook Miles? Nope. Ooh, I got a times five for complete DIY projects. So I got to build three things and I'm getting 750 nook miles. Oh. oh, my luscious fruit. My luscious fruit trees. So lusciously fruity. What's going on there? Oh, that's right. I planted that. Duh. dump stuff and grab turnips. I got a lot of turnips to sell. And I think I'll probably be able to pay off my pay off my loan. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I had the rose I was going to give to... Oh, crap. I can't store that. So I got to plant it. Pumpkins, they need planted somewhere. Ah, didn't want to do that. Oh, 
Where did this go? So many things. Too many things. Must make room for turnips. <laughs> All right, let's get out here. I'll throw these shrubs up somewhere. Cool wind and wet hair. up here. Got some weeds there. You got room for shrubs over here? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Just like this. Find my cherry dog. There she is. Hans has some kind of plague. Ugh. Uh, I guess I have to bring a medicine. Do you want this? This is so you. Yay. All right, so I need to do some, make some medicine, go visit Hans, and then. Oh my god. It's hard out here for a pimp. Oh, wait a minute. I can just go in here. Let's see. I need... That. And... Yeah, look at all my gold nugs. That was from that chick yesterday that invited us over to her island and then just was like, here, take this stuff. I'd be making all kinds of gold, golden stuff. I'll be one spot short, but I'm going to start picking up these turnips. Because I got a lot of turnips. My basement's completely full. My upstairs isn't too bad.
And each one of these is 100 turnips. bought a lot of turnips Pockets full. Got a pocket full of turnips. Alright, now, first up. my cash deposit full amount I think our turnips are going to put us over the top. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at the shopping yet. Alright, now get down here and visit Hans. What up, Bumble? Heard you got the plague. My couch keeps ghosting in. Medicine delivery. I'm getting ready to go get wealthy, so you can have the health, enjoy it, I'm gonna go get my wealth. Gotta go get my fat stacks. I am a turnip mogul. Selling some turnips. No, I'm not interested in the coffee cup. Don't you see all these turnips actually falling out of my pockets? Permit. Six hundred ninety thousand bells. Sounds good. That's about what I paid for them. So all the turnips I have left are profit. So that is how you can play the stock market. You need that nooknet.net. And then you just uh, buy your turnips on a Sunday, and then you enter in your prices each day, 
and you look at the graph, and it'll tell you when your best ch best chance to sell is. At worst, you might break even. Come on, quit being a jerk. Three million bills. One million dollars. Turnip time. There's actually websites, Discord channels you can go to where people will post what their turnips are selling for if they're selling high, and then invite people in to sell their turnips there. And generally, uh, you leave a tip whenever they invite you over to sell if they got good sell prices then you sell your turnips and just like drop them a hundred thousand bell tip or something so if you got an island that's selling or buying turnips at, for like 400 bells a piece you can make some bank posting it up on one of those discords and just having people come over and sell their turnips and uh you could get a couple million bells just on tips in a day from doing nothing But letting people come and sell their turnips. To turn up short. Alright, you little trash pandas, I'm here for more bells. Oh, that's why I had that cap in this one, and then in the last one I had the medicine. And so far that's 1.2, 1 1.38, 1, 1,380,000 bells so far. But that, that right there was basically profit. stock market. Get miles.
pause it. Hello, Rapids. Welcome to the channel. Just made some nice bank selling turnips. We can pay off that loan now. Oh, I bought for 101 and sold for 177. Would you like to see how I knew? I already showed this. Rapids. Yeah. R-A-P-P-1-D-Z. I know Leet Speak. I've been around. I've been around. All right. So yeah, if you want to see how you how you win at the stock market, uh, you just do. All you need is a turnip calculator. So right here is your turnip calculator. You put your buy price in, what you buy them at. And then each morning and each evening, you check the prices and put them in here. And then this graph will tell you. Oh, hold on. I gotta switch screens here. There we go. Then this graph here will tell you uh, when your best time to sell is. So, like yesterday evening, they were at 119. So, I was a bit concerned. And then today they were at 177, and the graph is showing no spike. It's showing that it's going to stay flat, and then it's going to crash. Well, there's a chance that this could actually dip by t tonight. So I decided I was going to go ahead and sell, and I bought for 101, sold for 177. That's a 75% profit on like a 700,000 bell investment. So uh, it's money, 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 money. And that website is nooknet.net. That's how you make rap one DZ. No, it's rapids. Just like people call me Grave Digger. No, it's Grave Digger. I had to make it back in the early days of AOL Hell when they only allowed eight letter names. And I was a grave digger back in the day, so I wanted my handle to be grave digger. But they didn't have room for the whole grave digger, so I had to shorten it to eight letters. G R A V D I G R. It's not that hard. But everybody calls me grave digger. It's like, have you ever heard of a grave digger? What is a grave digger? There's no such thing as a grave digger. All right. I still got two more turnips in my basement yet. But if you're uh, if you're liking the channel, liking the stream, go ahead and slap that uh, like and go ahead and slap slap that like and that subscription button, like you caught it dating your sister. Yeah, it isn't a thing, but people say it. I actually had uh, another YouTube st streamer. I did a super chat, and he actually at first he said Grave Digger, and then he's like, "Oh, Grave Digger, I see what you did there." And I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> you saw it that time." Yeah, it's Rapids, Melinda. <laughs> He is rapids. Okay, these last two turnips should give me some. Well, these last two stacks of turnips. There's a hundred. Oh man, I gotta turn that heat off. I'm sweating here now. 
Curse, you gotta sell these last two turnips. Last two stacks of turnips to the trash pandas. Nice. A little bit of walking around money. You really just did that, Melinda. You can die it, but that blonde's still gonna come through. <laughs> you can dye the blonde out of the hair, but you can't take the blonde out of the blonde. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll be right back in a hot second. I gotta, I gotta shut that heat off. Oh, look at my couch just popped in. Whoop, I can make it disappear. Eva, give it a rest there, doggo. All right. Oh, I see you just started your island. Did you just start playing, or did you just start a new island? Rapids. Sorry. I know there is a delay there, but I just wanted to make sure you knew I was talking to you. <laughs> You just started playing. Uh, do you know how to get a dodo code? All right. Well, I tell you what. Uh, you go ahead and get a dodo code and invite me over to your island. And I'm going to do for you what so many of my fans did for me. But I want it to be a surprise. So I am going to pop this up on the screen. Though I'm not really taking a break. I'm actually still here. I just don't want you to see what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing here. So, let's see. Okay, so the mic's still on, so you can still hear me.
Do you need stuff like recipes? Is there anything on the island? Or is it empty? Well, where am I going? Duplicates here. What? There's like a thousand flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's lifetime of free exterior renovations. Get a storage upgrade. Oh, come on, Nook. All I wanted to do is access the thing here. Yes, thank you. All right, I am back. Uh, shoot me a dodo code.
Are you there, Rapids? Fire me out of Dodo Code. Let me come visit. I got some goodies for you. No, chat's not broken. It just disappears after 45 seconds. But it's still up on the YouTube app. Or on the YouTube, uh... If you're watching it on, like, a phone or a computer, it's still there. I just have it disappear off the screen, so I... Since I'm not using a overlay anymore, I just don't want a big chunk of my screen permanently blocked by chat. I already got my big head cover and enough of it. Yeah, that's no problem. But it's your character, right? So this stuff will go into your inventory. And then you can be like, hey bro, you want this cool thing here? How about you do my dishes for me tonight? <laughs> or this could just be stuff that you can use to play with. So glitchy. I think it's because it's daytime out, so it's a little brighter in here. Because last night, whenever it was dark. What's up? Won't it let you do it without okay? Oh, so you can't even... Oh, that sucks. So you can't even have visitors. That's disappointing. All right, well... That, all that stuff. And be like, you know, this guy was going to give us 20 gold nugs and 99,000 bells and 10 Nook Mile tickets and a whole bunch of recipes and you couldn't spend $20 for Switch Online. <laughs>
actually. I wonder how much his storage upgrades are. Probably ridiculously expensive. Let's see, I wonder how our star rating is. Probably still four. I gotta develop the rest of the island. I'll be getting busy come next week once the uh, Mario update comes out. Yep, still four stars. Talk to the old Nookster here. ready to spend that yet. I'm good. these two. check um, I have both of those all right there now I got all the pathing Nook shopping. Outdoor bench. That does not look like a trustworthy bench at all. Got the world. Uh... Uh, nothing there I want. my tools and stuff. Oh, I 
to get these fossils checked. Your chat broke. Alright, and then I got art in here that's real. Now, yes. Oops, crap. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, oh, I don't care. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll have to give me a few minutes. I dropped everything. I'll have to go pick it all back up. But I got a little busy here. Eva. Alright, so now we got an art gallery up here. That must be for statues. There's one painting. There's another painting. Holy crap, there's a lot of a lot of room for stuff here. Alright. Let's see, what else was I doing here? Tell you what, I'll go ahead and post up my dodo code. You can go ahead and come here. Sound good? Oh, you, you got a dodo code up already? Alright, hold on. I gotta go grab stuff. And 
and I shall return. Super secret. I'm still here. I'm just doing this so you can't see what I'm doing. Still getting there. It'll be going to be a few minutes because I put everything away, so I got to get it all back. Shoot, didn't want to go down there. Still getting there, I just thought of something else I wanted to grab.
I'm still here, by the way. <laughs> I just get quiet whenever I'm doing stuff because I'm reading and thinking. All right, fantastic. All right, just got to run in my house real quick, and then I'll be hopping on the dodo plane. No, I didn't want to do that. Come on, wrong room. All right. Okay, now I'm on my way over. Dodo code. Royville, let's fly. Eva Bobbies. This is crazy. All right, show me where your tent's at. Yeah, 
Yeah, I see he's got some piratey stuff. Very cool. Oh, here's your tent. Alright. Um, okay, we're gonna need a little room for me to drop this stuff, so let's get out here in the open a bit. Yeah, right here will work. Now, if your guy's pretty much brand new, he shouldn't have any of this stuff. Alright, there you go. No problem. When I first started, the first person who visited my island dropped a million bells, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> but that should be enough to get you started. The wetsuit here will let you go swimming, so you can go out in the water and start picking stuff up everywhere you see bubbles. You got some Nook Mile tickets here, so you can go visit the Nook Mile Islands. Yeah, it's this guy's brother's island. He's living in a tent right now, so I dropped him off a bunch of my... Now, if you sign off, it's going to kick me out. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll on back out to my island. That stuff should still be there when you switch characters. It shouldn't go anywhere. But yeah, Millie, I'm just trying to pay it forward for all the nice stuff that everyone did for me. I got my house paid off. I hit it big in the stock market. And I had a bunch of extra stuff, so I went ahead and hooked him up with a few things. Enjoy, man. Have fun with that stuff. Uh, I don't know, Millie. <laughs> Time gets weird when you're playing. <laughs> Alright, now, I'm gonna do some padding out here. This is more rustic out here, so I think it's going to have dirt for its pathing.
Nah, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Let's do it this way. Ah, oh, that's right. I lost my sling. Or I broke my slingshot and haven't made another one yet. I need to remember to do that.
Ah, oh, come on. path out this way too. You got dirt roads when you're out in the out in the country. In this case dirt paths. Something here, maybe a little bench right here. Oh. That's the black lily. So I think I got another pink one here in my pocket. So we got our pathing here done. Did I see I had... We got a couple more... Yeah, let's see what color these are. Two reds. One pink. Plant that one there. I guess we'll plant this other one right here. But we did get one more pink one. Towards the water here. 
matter, Marina? All right, well, my loyal viewers, it has been two hours. It is lunchtime. I haven't eaten yet today, and my back's hurting a bit, so I think I'm going to log off for a while, and later on today, I'll be back on with some more Stardew Valley, so um, if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like my video, helps out. Uh, if you want to get notifications when I'm going to be on, hit that notification bell, and it'll let you know. And uh, until then, uh, I will see you later. Thank you for watching.